Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Mashmaker Challenge brew number two. In today's episode, we're going to be brewing the 1997 IPA recipe. Little note from the author, much like grunge, this IPA is best in the moment. Don't let your kids rediscover it in 20 years. Let's get to it. Make a yeast starter prior to brew day. Check. Let's start with the ingredients list, shall we? All right, we got two base malts in this recipe. We got 8.5 pounds of Rar Turo, 12 ounces of Munich malt, and we have two specialty malts. Four ounces of Rar Red Wheat malt, and one pound of Crystal Medium. Our hops for the day will be 0.75 ounces of Chinook at T minus 60, 0.5 ounces of Cascade, and 0.5 ounces of Chinook at T minus 15, and 0.5 ounces of Cascade, and 0.5 ounces of Chinook at Flame Out. Then this right here is going to be Cascade and Williamette, one ounce of each in the dry hop. And of course, can't go without my hot scotchy for the day. It's a triple decker, peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. All right, looks like we got about 1075 on the first runnings. I just took some out to test and to make my hot scotchy. So here I've got, you know, like a double shot. So. I'm going to want to put too much into it. Maybe a quarter shot, half shot if you're adventurous. That's good. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, that's good. That's really tasty. Fantastic. All right, we're at six gallons of wort. It's time to boil. All right, the boil has begun and it's time to add the first top addition, which is 0.75 ounces of Chinook. So here we go. Easy as that. Some of you might be asking or thinking, why do I put my hops inside this bag? Well, because I don't like to filter out the hops afterwards. I run my, I run my uh, final boiled product through a plate chiller, and if I got a bunch of hop particulates inside the liquid, I may stuff up my plate chiller. So I use a hop spider works just fine and then I don't have all that um, excess hops sitting in the bottom of the carboy either so that is the reason why I do that all right hop addition number two we got 15 minutes left inside the boil
Position number two is in. We got 15 minutes left for the boil. I decided to take a sample of last week's brew, the Nectat Black IPA. Yeah, I'm trying to get in there as close as I can. Looks like we're at about 10.08. So it has fermented nicely. Color's looking pretty good. I'm gonna pour that into a glass. Take a little sip. So here it is. I'm gonna bring it in here. Got nice color to it. I'll take a little drink here really fast. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. It's got it's got a good malt hop balance to it. And I haven't even dry hopped this yet, so the aroma is pretty nice, but it will change once it's been dry hopped. Okay, time is up. I just turned off the flame. I'm going to add this last hop addition and flame out. Let it sit for about a minute or so, and I'm going to take it over and get it cooled down. Okay, well that's going to conclude the brew day. Um, I got the wort into the carboy. It's a little warmer uh, this time. It's uh, in the carboy. Well, it came out of the plate chiller at 75 degrees today. It's a little warmer outside today, so my groundwater is a little warmer. So I'm going to let that sit and cool for a little bit and pitch the yeast at 66 later on this evening. But uh, just uh, here's a sample of the wart I took a gravity reading and it's just a little short it was supposed to be 1057 it came in at 1054 so I left the putt a little short but that's okay it's not going to be that big of a deal it's still beer today I leave you with a Dunkelweizen really nice tasty beer I've brewed this one a few times I really like the German beers, especially the Dunkels and the Hefeweizens, so cheers to everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you following along with me on this challenge. Take care for now. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs>